practice, each practice one, the practice of team has been tremendously different. But that's what it's all about is the progression, is, is getting them better and improving. And, uh, you know, that's what you see. He's consistently improved, um, gotten better and better. Um, and, and, you know, and I'm sure, I don't know what the stats would say, and, you know, even with Tyler, just, um, you know, protection, we didn't protect that well on that side of the ball. Um, with the blue team, you know, we had some, some drop balls. And I told him I, I got to take responsibility for the pick because on third down, I, I went in there and I was trying to help the offense a little bit. I was like, ah, oh, it's cover two, it's cover two. And, and you know, being cover two. So I said, I'll take responsibility for the pick. He's like, yeah, you owe me one. I said, yeah, I'll take responsibility. I'll, I'll tell the media, don't worry about it. I got this one. So, uh, yeah, that was on me. But it's, listen, it's both, both of those guys have, have done extremely well. But it's good to see Sam play well in his first real game-like experience in Notre Dame Stadium. Right? I know we had the jury scrimmage last week, but to have fans here, you know, this atmosphere that we had, and probably got to shout out the fans. I mean, it was, it was really a good atmosphere for, for the weather conditions, and, and we appreciate all the support that our fans showed today, too. So, I'm going to ask you to put the quarterback competition in perspective here, because the fan base media, we leave the spring scene today. Uh, Sam was outstanding. So, is the gap closer than what today would suggest, or do you feel like Sam is, is sort of making a move? No, I think we still have quarterback battle. You know, what you can't determine a winner and loser based off one practice, practice 15. And, um, you know, it, again, there, it, and you can't base a decision off of what we view as a certain outcome. There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into a quarterback battle, but all, obviously a quarterback play. And so I know just being out there, I, we got to go back and watch the film. And, we're not blocking in, there's some protection issues, we're dropping balls, we got to go and look where the route's exactly precise. I'm always going to defend the quarterbacks because, as I've always said, that position is most like the head coach. They get praise and criticism. Everybody's going to praise Sam for how we play today, we're going to criticize Tyler. They both probably played pretty well. We have to look at the film. I know the stats might not say it, but listen, both of them uh, are tremendously talented. And uh, we'll go back and evaluate over 15 practices and continue to look as we move forward, look at as we move forward. So what is it about Jaden Greathouse that he can come out here and catch 11 passes for 118 yards and really be a factor on every single drive with multiple quarterbacks? Yeah, he didn't, I didn't know that. 11 for 118 is pretty good stat line. Um, he stuck out. He played well. I mean, he, he played really well. All three of those freshmen are going to help us, you know, and, and all three of those freshmen will play for us this year. I'm, I'm really confident. Um, that those three, those three guys will, will help this football team. And, and uh, it's good to see Jaden step up today. Like I said, when the lights are on, you want to see who will step up and make plays. And uh, he's been, all three of them have, have been really, really um, good additions to our program throughout the spring. That wasn't just a one-time performance. All three of those guys have shown um, to be productive throughout the spring.